Hi everyone, this is a pick a card reading for their true feelings for you. So we're going to have a look with this beautiful, beautiful reading. Just want to say I was so drawn to using pink and red. You know, I just feel this draw towards Venus right now and this Venus energy. Now I want to say this is a timeless reading. So whenever you're watching this, that is fine. But as I'm literally filming it, you know, Taurus is having its moment of course because it's Taurus season and Taurus is ruled by Venus. On top of that, you know, the month after I obviously um, posting this video, there is going to be a Venus retrograde and yesterday I was just looking out and I saw the moon and Venus looking rather beautiful indeed. So I took a photograph of it, I put it on my Instagram as well. If anyone wants to follow me on Instagram, um, links are in the description box below that you can see right there. How spectacular, like such a beautiful, beautiful it looks beautiful, I have to say. I keep using that word. But anyways, I was so drawn to, you know, using pink and red for this reading for that particular reason. So, yeah, I thought I'd give you a little backstory. You know, it's nice to share these little personal things and, you know, what my inspiration is for that. Um, so, anyways, let's have a look and see what their true feelings are for you. And also, I'll tell you what they are thinking. Um, I also want to mention as well, if you'd like to win a free reading with me, do check out the description box below since I do a giveaway every single month. If you would like to purchase a private paid reading, information will also be down below as well. They are done within 24 to 48 hours. Pick a card readings on my channel are uploaded once every three days, so do make sure you are subscribed to my channel so that you don't miss out, um, and make sure you ring the little bell so that you know you have your post notification so that my videos go into your subscription box. And the last thing I want to mention, of course, is my intention bracelets are on Etsy, and these actually really beautifully match this reading as well. You've got these very beautiful, like gold iridescent pink little beads there as well. These are actually intention bracelets. They're meditated with, they're sage, they're there to remove obstacles and challenges from different areas of your life. These are actually the love bracelets. I have so many different ones on there from evil eye, protection, confidence. And if you want to see how other people have seen results with them, please do head over to my Etsy shop. The information will always be in the description box below. So thank you so much for everyone for their support. It means a lot. You know, everything's always down there. Patreon, PO box, if you want to write to me, you know, all that good stuff, always, always there. All right, so let's get started with this reading. As I mentioned, we're going to have a look into all of that. Now, the, we have here group one, group two, and group three. The timestamps for each of these readings will be in the description box below, so you can open up the description box and then click on whichever group you're interested in, and it will take you to the corresponding reading. All right, so let's get started. I am going to just move away these beautiful faux roses. I like it because I can, of course, <laughs> reuse them. So they're so beautiful. And I'm just going to put them to the side as well. Or actually, should we put these ones down here? I think that's really pretty. I'm literally doing some rearrangements, floral rearrangements, as we are going. All right, so. I'm going to just move these other groups to the side. And let's start with group number one. All right, so group number one, this is your reading for their true feelings for you and also what they're thinking. So we have this beautiful, beautiful pile and it's got some wonderful grapes on it, faux grapes. I'm just gonna put those to the side right there. And also the other thing is that this deck is called Groovy Weight for those of you that are wondering. So I'm just going to start by shuffling them and also we're going to do a 12 card spread for each group. So here we go, 12 card spread. What are their true feelings for you? What are their true feelings for you? Whoa! Okay, let's have a look. So we've got the seven of Wands. I am going to actually just move those right to the top. Seven of Wands. We've got the King of Wands. Wow, look at that. Four of Pentacles. Ace of Swords. The Emperor. 
Ace of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Five of Cups, okay, and last four cards. So we've got Six of Swords here. I'll show that to you just because, you know, it's a little bit further away, so you might not be able to see the card as much. So Six of Swords, Hanged Man, Knight of Cups, last card. Alright, there we go. We've got all of our cards right here. Okay, so... Six of Swords. The illustration on these are beautiful. Hanged Man. Strength. And the Knight of Cups. Wow. Alright, so here is what we have. I feel like the grapes are kind of just getting in my way, so I am going to put them to the side, but I'm sure, you know, we have admired them. And they can just sit right on the side there. So... What I'm seeing here is this very, very strong energy of them having feelings towards you, but also having this inner conflict and inner turmoil. They feel very stressed out. They want to keep themselves to themselves, which is also reflecting their true feelings towards you. You know how sometimes when someone is feeling so shut down in their own energy, they don't want to do certain things, they just don't feel good to the point where it reflects upon other things that they're doing or how they talk to others. You know, they can just feel very like fiery or they can be just so closed off that's what I'm seeing here like how they feel within themselves is also in many ways how they are responding to you or how they are getting their messages across to you or how they are acting in regards to you because some of you may not even have communication so I just want you to know that if they are feeling so erratic towards you or very hot and cold towards you and you're like what the heck is actually happening like why is this so challenging right now it's because they feel so challenged from within. They feel so all over the place and they feel so confused and chaotic and just not great. And that is why that's, that's happening. You know, their true feelings here are reflected on their actions and how they act towards you. So if they're acting like one second they want to really talk to you and the next second they're like so closed off, it really truly is because that's how they feel in their own energy. Like one second they feel really great and then the next second they just are wanting to keep to themselves, wanting to hold all of their thoughts and emotions in and they feel upset, sad, anxious, stressed out about certain things or they have a lot on their plate and they just feel like, whoa, I don't know where to start. So there is this very all over the place energy that I do sense and pick up on. It's not fun in all honesty, right, to feel like this. But at the same time, it's sad that that's how it's affecting how they come across to you. So that is something that we're definitely seeing. And the Four of Pentacles, you know, really shows someone that's just trying to hold their pentacles very close to them. So their ideas, their thoughts, their emotions, how they're mentally feeling, you know, even their energy. Like so far as, this, as their energy as well, you know, like holding in energy so that, you know, you, you can just grasp it and keep it without having to feel like you're losing it. So King of Wands here shows that they really do find you very attractive. King of Wands is a pursuer by nature, and I'm not just talking in terms of romance, but a pursuer in regards to their goals and dreams, and this is how I see this person, but I also see that they're just feeling so closed off, so the things that they would naturally want to pursue, want to do, they just can't go towards it because, again, they are restricting themselves and wanting to keep their energy towards themselves. So from time to time, people will have moments like this and they will want to keep themselves to themselves, if that makes any sense, to try and find a sense of rejuvenation or to try and understand why they're feeling this way. The other thing I see again, you know, as I mentioned and briefly touched on, is that this person does have very physically, like, they find you physically very attractive and that is something, you know, that I... And for sure seeing, but I really do feel here that this person also thinks that your personality is really interesting and you're really exciting. But again, when someone is really closed off, doesn't matter like what they have in front of them, they could have the most beautiful roses or the most beautiful bunch of grapes, you know, if they're feeling sad and upset, they will naturally not care about that as much, you know. 
again, it's, it's one of those things. We see that a lot in celebrity culture as well, is that, you know, celebrities, they often have, you know, these amazing material things, but if they don't have that fundamental happiness, it doesn't matter what they have in front of them, literally, they're not going to feel any better because the happiness really does come within ourselves. And that's why I think over the course of many years, you know, over the course of time, especially in the last five years, spirituality has really grown where people are wanting to take care much more of themselves. You see so many more people, even celebrities, getting into meditation and trying to journal and things like that. We see it, you know, they're always talking about it. A lot of them, not, not all of them, but a lot of people are always talking about it now. And that's, again, it links to this because it shows that no matter what goodness you could have in front of them, no matter what goodness is in front of this per particular person, aka being you, if they're not feeling good in themselves, they will always they they will always um, battle and conflict, and and that's that's their energy, and that's also how they feel towards themselves. So do not blame yourself for this. All right, do not blame yourself. It's so easy to go into a place where we're like, okay, well then I guess I need to change something about myself, you know, or maybe I sh I'm not doing enough, or maybe um, I'm too much of this or too much of that. Like it's not your fault. So please don't blame yourself. You know, don't blame yourself. Just know that their true feelings are a reflection of how they feel towards themselves. You know, it's, it's a mirror, essentially. And they will work through these things. You know, fives and tarot indicate change. The seven of wands also shows that they, they don't, they're not willing to give up on you completely. So even though they might be hot and cold and a little bit all over the place, they still really have those feelings towards you. And I still feel like they're going back and forth in their mind in regards to you and not wanting to 100% let you go. I mean, the Ace of Swords here shows that they feel like you're so smart and you're so kind and you're so loyal and you're so giving and they just feel hopeless because they feel like they can't give to that extent, if that makes any sense, but they know they want to, which is why they're also taking a bit of space and a bit of time. And this again is healthy. It is healthy. I know it seems like mm -hmm, moonlight <laughs> isn't really healthy though. It is healthy. It is to a certain degree. Um, I very much so do feel that it is. Um, you know, it, it may not... It may not feel, you know, that way, but um, taking space and time can often give us um, a bigger outlook on things that can make us feel like, okay, it is this way, but at least I know it's this way now, you know, rather than just running, 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 and running with the times, and running with the times, and then thinking, oh, okay, so I've just ended up in this place all of a sudden, and I don't know how I feel, okay, you know, because a lot of the times a lot of people can just push their emotions deep down. And the good thing here is at least this person's taking space and time to acknowledge how they feel rather than just running away and not even wanting to acknowledge it. See, with the Six of Swords here, you see this person here is actually taking these swords with them when they're moving. They're not just abandoning those swords and leaving them be. They're actually taking that baggage with them. And what happens is when you know you have that baggage and you're taking, you know, you're taking it with you, you're much more likely to notice it. So I just want you to know that their true feelings towards you, yes, they're a bit chaotic, a little bit all over the place, or very all over the place, should I say, but at least they're working through things and this is not going to be the case forever. Like, I know a lot of people are watching this reading and probably thinking, but, you know, is this going to be the case forever? Like, okay, I get that there's hot and cold feelings and emotions, but is it really going to be like this forever? And I would say no, no it's not, because I do see them progressing, I do see them not giving up on themselves, I see them wanting truth and clarity and really wanting to align to the energy that you also give out, they want to feel strong and confident and, you know, again you've got the strength card here which really shows them working on themselves and, and feeling better. This person really does look at you and go wow, you know, they, they feel like they put you on a pedestal and they think, wow, like you're so strong, you're so confident, you know, you have so much going for you, do so much. I want to be like you. You know, but how can I be like you? So they have a lot of respect for you, but they just can't give you what you truly want right this second. Can they in the future? Of course they can in the future. Why not? You know, because the Knight of Cups here shows that once they have really become so much more confident in their own energy and they're ready to take action, they will feel like, you know what, I got this, I can do this, I know what I want, I know which direction I want to go in, I have got this. And so the Emperor also shows that as well, you know, the Emperor is this very, very strong energy of, you know, I know what I want, I know which direction I want to go in, this is about taking action, 
and again having those you know physically attractive thoughts in regards to you and thinking yeah you know I do really like you and I do want to go forward and I do feel so much better within my own self so you know they are really thinking first and foremost at this very point in time about themselves they are you know even though this is a timeless reading I thought I would just mention that you know whenever you're watching this is essentially when this will apply to you but right now you know they're really just trying to get themselves together they're trying to focus on their own moves and what they want to do they do have feelings towards you but this is really about them putting themselves on the pedestal if that makes any sense you know they're putting themselves first and ultimately this person is just hoping i hope they understand you know that's really the big message coming through especially with the strength card they want to tame their fears they want to come through as much stronger they want to feel better they want to feel more excited more uplifted happier you know they don't want to come across as you know this whiny person when you're in you know when you're trying to progress things with them they want to feel happy and uplifted and at the end of the day this person feels like you deserve that you know which is why they can be so hot and cold because they don't want to let you go on one hand and on the other hand, they want to get themselves together. Now, some of you may not have communication, but I feel like this person also somehow deep down thinks that you won't completely disappear off the radar, which is why they may have even, you know, ended up in you know, communication or ghosted you in some way, shape or form, because they feel like at the end of the day, you will still somehow still be there. Like, that's just how they think. Um, so they don't actually in their mind feel like, you know, everything is just lost, lost in the fire, you know? They don't. They don't. I don't know if anyone's actually heard that song, Lost in the Fire. Well, you know, it's just a thought. They they don't feel like they, yeah, they don't, they don't feel that way. King of Wands, see, I see them pursuing you here again. Emperor, I see them pursuing you here again. You know, in tarot, the King of Wands, I believe the King of Wands, no, actually, it's the Emperor. The Emperor is wearing full-on armour, you know, is ready to fight and to battle. So, <laughs> You know their true feelings towards you are still there like they have these very strong feelings towards you where they see you as someone that is just so like you've got everything together now you may not feel like you've got everything together but this is how they see you they feel like you've got everything together you know you're confident you're strong you go towards the things that you really want to go towards you're passionate you're committed to the things that you put yourself out there for ace of swords again very loyal very very concise very clear you have great communication you know what you want you go towards it and that's what I'm seeing here is that you just know, right? And that's the big thing that they are lacking is that at times they feel like they don't know, but they feel like you deserve someone who knows certain things, you know, and just feels so um, good in their own energy. So that's why they're a bit hot and cold. They just feel at times like they don't deserve you, if that makes sense, which is, you know, a very big energy. And knowing that can make somebody pursue more and be like no 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 but you do deserve it you, you know what I mean like sometimes we can get into that energy where we're like trying to pursue and try to convince the other person but try not to do that <laughs> you know let this person come to their own conclusions because that's what the ace of swords shows and just know that they will work through a lot of these things and they will find themselves at the end of the at the end of the tunnel feeling so much more stronger and I think at the end of the day you need to hear a lot of this from them as well rather than pursuing them over this so let them let them you know do the work and I think that you'll see over time as well such an improvement in their energy and how they also feel you're going to see them feeling so uplifted and happier and it's not to say that they're not happy right now it's just that they're, they're definitely feeling a lot more stressed and this is a gradual process it's over time they're going to feel less stressed um, and a lot better in general you know ace of pentacles here shows like a wash of color you know it's going to be like a refresh for them and the Knight of Cups, let them come to you, you know, let them pursue you. They really do have some strong feelings towards you and they want to pursue that, but they also want to make sure that they're ready to give you all of that that you deserve because they do think about, well, you don't deserve someone, you know, that's like me who just hasn't quite figured it all out. You know, that's how they feel about themselves. They want to come across as someone who, at least for you, is someone that just, you know, has it all together and feels good and is confident and happy and excited and motivated and determined, just like they see you. You know, they want to feel like that and they put you on a pedestal in many ways because they feel like, wow, you know, you've really got everything together. You know what you want. You know what 
you know what to do and it's just this like constant energy that I keep feeling where they put you on this pedestal and they think oh my gosh I need to be like that before I actually pursue this person you know so these are their true feelings towards you they're just doing a lot of work right now which is what the six of swords here shows the hangman also shows that they're trying to recover a lot of their spiritual energy and at the end of the day you know I think that's very very important because it's going to make them feel so much better it's also going to make them and help them understand what they truly want in life and also how they want things to progress what they want to feel um, and the overall direction that they want to go in so I think that that is genu genuinely very very important um, and quite necessary in many ways so yeah, that is what I'm seeing, and yeah, I really, in general, I just hope that, of course, that helps you, but yeah, it's it's tough, you know, it is tough, because on one side, they don't want to let you go, on the other hand, they want to focus on themselves, they think you in a very, they think of you in a very high manner, right, but also they feel like they need to balance that, like, they need to be as equal on the other side in regards to where you're at as well, and they just really want to work on themselves as well, so these are their true feelings for you and also what they're thinking which is totally totally related to their feelings for you as well in many ways so the way they act towards you is also a reflection of how they feel within themselves so when they start to act much more balanced towards you you'll know that they have really found that balance within themselves and they've also hit that sweet spot in themselves as well so that is what I'm seeing for group number one all right so this is your reading now if this rings true to your situation or it just feels like re it resonates let me know in the comment section below don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already do check out the description box below for information on private paid readings reading giveaway and my bracelets which are on Etsy and now I'm going to move on to group number two all right so I'm just going to take these cards away All right, so group number two, this is your reading for their true feelings for you, and I'll also tell you what they're thinking. I just want to give you a heads up. I forgot to say this right at the beginning, but this deck is quite, how do I put this, quite scandalous, all right? It's, um, it's, it's quite physical, and it's quite intimate. Let's just say it's quite intimate. So I just want to say that before you, you know, before I start with this reading, just to give you a disclaimer. So if you don't like decks like that, or you don't want to you know, see those kinds of cards, I would definitely, you know, choose another deck, <laughs> one or three, um, but, you know, we're going to progress along with it, but I just thought I would let you know that, I forgot to completely say that, say it at the beginning, so um, we've also got this beautiful, beautiful crystal right here, um, so I'm going to try and put it right at the end, um, hopefully it won't get in my way too much, but I'm just going to leave it there, because I want to put the spread right in the middle, and we're going to get started, all right, so yeah, let's have a look and see what is coming through for you. Their true feelings for you. We've got the stars. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, okay. So we've got here actually two cards because underneath the stars is the nine of chalices. And this is a wish, all right? This is a huge wish and a huge ask in many ways. I really see that this person sees you as, I keep thinking of milk and honey. You know, it's, it's that kind of energy where it's like just so, you just want to like, <laughs> how do I say this, you know, it just, it's asking to be, oh, how do I say this, it's like you just want it, you know, it's that sweetness, and it, you just, you want it, you want it so badly, um, same, same goes with a wish, right, where you just want your wish to come true, and it's like, oh, I'll do anything to have my wish come true, this person sees you as the one, like, I'm not even kidding, right? This person sees you as the one. When you look at the stars, there's always going to be that one star that just shines the brightest, that automatically at times you get drawn to. And which one is that? For me right now, it's the sun, because the sun is just shining over this reading. But here, you've got one right there as well. Of course, the sun is a star as well. <laughs> but 
you know, this really shows that you're you're the one, you know, that there's lots of other stars, of course, in the sky. When I say lots, that's an understatement because there's so many, but they see you as that one bright shining star that they just can't take their eyes off. And it glistens in such a different way. You give so much, you do so much, you're so kind, you're so loyal, you have such a beautiful energy. And they have really wished for things to progress with you. That's what I'm seeing here. Okay, and the Nine of Cups here shows a wish, right? Again, this this is like a double wish. So they're definitely wishing for things to progress with you, to get better with you. You know, this is also about them wanting to feel, you know, 100% comfortable, also thinking about the right opportunity and the right time to progress things with you. You've got milk and honey, you've got a full-on banquet right there. <laughs> You know, I mean, you know, it's almost like this person is thinking to themselves like, oh, it would be nice to catch up with you and to also, you know, perhaps grab some food. I keep seeing food here. So, you know, maybe for some of you that might resonate on a deeper level, there's definitely something about food here that really just keeps coming through in my mind. I mean, I'm getting hungry now, so, you know, that's also a thing. But it's definitely coming through on the cards. They have a wish towards you. And I really feel, again, that they see you in their future. Like, they have envisioned you so many times as a life partner. And they have very, very strong feelings towards you. Like, they just want you. They need you. They crave you. Again, that relation to food as well. They want to devour you. Oh, gosh. Did I really just say that? Well... You know, there's a reason this deck obviously came to be on this uh, group reading. You know, it takes two to tango, that's for sure. The thing is, you know, this is group number two. I also realised your timestamp is 2222 two, 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 because as I was writing it down, I was like, okay, wow, well, repeating numbers. But then also it takes two to tango, you know, in a connection. And, you know, what's really interesting here is, is you've got those energies once again come through in the deck. You know, you've got this energy of two and two and two and two. And it just seems to me like they want to be with you. They want to progress things with you. They want to make things work with you. The world here is about, you know, the fact that they see you as their world. They see you as this person that just brings so much. You do so much. You give so much. They're in awe of you. They're in awe of your energy. They're like, wow, you know, wow. It's beautiful. It really is. I mean, you've got here the Two of Wands, which shows this very flirtatious energy. They dream about you a lot. They fantasize you about, a, uh, I can't even speak, they fantasize about you a lot. They have very intimate thoughts and dreams in regards to you. And then they wake up or they stop dreaming because it can also be a daydream. And they start to think like, whoa, you know? And then they start thinking about their thoughts. And then think even more about their thoughts. And it's this cycle where they just keep thinking and thinking and thinking. And they think, wow, like, I just want things to progress with this person. And I also want things to balance out. Because there is this need for balance that I really see here as well. Like, they really just want things to be equal and mutual. And not at all one-sided. And again, there's this flirtatious energy, which again, you know, they do think about. And they think about flirting with you and progressing things to that level. Now, some of you may be at a distance from each other. In which case, dips, distance and absence is really making the heart grow fonder because the Two of Wands is about, you know, distance and sometimes, you know, thinking about someone at a distance and wondering, you know, how they're doing and things like that. And then you start to fantasize about things. So this is them, you know, specifically fantasizing about you and thinking about you at a distance, you know, literally just being in awe of your mind, your body and your soul. Because I don't see this specifically just being like very like intimately about your body like this is much more than that which is a good thing right which is a good thing it's nice to have that where it's not just about the physical aspect of things every every second so uh yeah that is what we're seeing i mean i have to say it's like a really it's like a really big thing to pick up on you know the world is also ruled by saturn which is also about self-efficiency and you know karma and routine and it's almost like they want to make you a part of their routine and that's what couples do you know couples make each other a part of their routine and I really do see here that they just want to enjoy more time with you so again there is an element of distance coming through but 
they just want to do more with you. It could also be for couples that are actually living together who may just feel a bit more sort of detached from one another or maybe not doing as much for each other. You know, there's this need of, of really just, you know, in many ways, spending more time together and just enjoying those moments that's getting picked up quite heavily in this particular reading and just, you know, spicing things up, being a bit more flirtatious with one another and just enjoying time together. Like, I think that that's also just a very important aspect um, as well that's just really coming through here, just being able to enjoy time. Wow. Okay, so let's uh, get the rest of the cards out and see what's coming through. But there's a flame that's really burning here and I just feel like they're their thoughts and their, this person loves you, so I'm just going to say it, I'm going to drop the album, this person's love for you is not going to go out anytime soon, it's, it's just not, you know, that wand will always get reignited, I feel like as much as I try, there's just so many innuendos that will come out, you know, like the one being reignited, you know, I'm just, I'm just saying, oh, by the way, I also want to mention as well that I don't read um, genders specifically in tarot, I read energies, so again, you know, take this upon your situation, you know, whether it is also male, male, female, female, you know, male, female, whatever your, you know, preference is, I read energies, so I just thought I'd let you know that as well. Ten of Pentacles, again, I just can't make this up, you know. Two of Chalices, oh my gosh. So here you've got the Ten of Pentacles. Again, there is something about food. Please tell me I'm not going insane. And there's something that relates to you and food and this person because I see it again here. Again, it's like this energy of them wanting to like devour you. Um, but more so, the Ten of Pentacles is also about love and joy, commitment, stability and security. And I do feel that this person really wishes for that to happen at some point. We've also got the Two of Chalices, like a very, very romantic card. This is also about, you know, things being mutual and again, not one-sided. This is about equal love. It is about happiness. It is about joy on both sides. It is also a very spiritual card because it shows here you know, this sense of progression, the sense of, you know, things balancing out and this just beautiful energy of support and joy and that's how they feel towards you, like you're a very supportive person and they want to be able to give you that in return. They want to be able to support you and your dreams and how you feel as well. They want to be able to, like, say, I support you too, you know, and they also want you to say that to, to them as well in time. So, the Ten of Pentacles here shows that, you know, in time, they really just want to progress things with you more and more, have this sense of stability and this beautiful life where you can enjoy each other's company, you know? And you've also got judgment here. Interestingly enough, there's a child in this particular card. Now, for some of you, this can represent, you know, children, like actual children. But for, for others of you, what this can represent is also having a child together or some kind of energy of a child. Now, of course, this really does depend upon your situation because some people don't want children. Like, they naturally, you know, they don't want that. This can also be a pet um, or it can be, you know, other things that people regard to as, you know, their own, if that makes any sense, you know, having to look, like look after something um, or someone. So for some of you, this could mean children that are already in your life, you know, for others of you, this can mean bringing a child actually into the world with this person. Um, or for others of you, it may not be a child, but it may be, again, like a dog or a cat or a parrot, you know, I, I say that because I have a parrot, but you know, it, it, it's, it's different for everyone. Um, not to say that, you know, I'm describing a parrot like a child or, well, you know, the thing is, right? <laughs> um, I'm just giving that as an example, you know, is that some people, they don't want children. So I'm just, you know, saying that. But that's not to say that I don't want children, you know, that, like I'm just trying to give an example as to different animals. Some people have snakes, you know, it's just, it's, it's a thing. Um, so yeah, anyways, this is what we're seeing with the Judgment card. Judgment, by the way, is, of course, ruled by Pluto. Pluto is about big transformations. So, as you can already see, this person wants to transform things with you. They want to progress things with you. They want to take things further with you. And they want to explore much more with you as well um, in regards to their future. Because this person sees a future with you. There we go. And judgment here is also about, you know, being tied to you, having responsibilities and actually being able to enjoy time with you and, um, you know, 
not feeling like things can't progress because hey this person wants to progress things again with you they want to do things for you and they just want to you know show you and tell you that they for sure that they do care so so it's a pretty big energy that we we do have coming through on the cards but um yeah it's it's almost like you know they have thought so much about their future and they they really do think about this energy of, of essentially binding with you you know, making you a part of their routine as well, and how that can work with external factors. So whether that is, you know, bringing a new child into the world, or whether it is existing children for some of you in your situations, or whether it is, you know, having a pet, or, you know, you know something else along the lines of that, something that meets with your personal values and your needs and your wants, you know, they're thinking about how that can quite literally transform and how that can work, because this person is thinking on a pretty solid level. Oh yes, it is solid. It is very solid. Like they're really thinking about all of this to such um, depth, a lot of depth, like an insane amount of depth for sure. So that is what's coming through there. So let's uh, continue to shuffle these cards and see what else is coming through. But yeah, judgment is huge because again, we see this energy of, of a child right at the top, you know, and that shows here transformation. Because naturally when you have, you know, other commitments, for example, you know, other children or you're thinking about children, like they are a huge commitment, you know, it's not just something you can give up, like it's it's something so, so important. So it's about, you know, figuring out how that can also blend into, you know, a routine and whether it can work, whether it's, you know, existing children, um, children that are already around you, or whether it's bringing um, a new one in, you know, um, and also other commitments, like for example, pets, <laughs> you know, that's, that's what I'm trying to essentially describe. I just want to, like, look at this card, it's just, it's just stuck in such an amazing way. It looks quite cool, actually, for a reading. Okay, it doesn't work on the other side. Anyways, so we've got here the um, Seven of Wands. This is how this is how I work when I see something really cool. I'm like, wow, I wonder how that could actually work. So the Seven of Wands here shows, of course, challenges, um, but it also shows that they don't want to give up on you. Like, let's be very, very honest. This person does not in any way, shape or form want to give up on you. This is about them wanting to fight for you. This is about them wanting to be with you, wanting to hold on to you as much as they possibly can. They do not want you going to anyone else. Like that makes them feel really scared. I feel like this person's quite possessive um, towards you in, in that way. Like they may come across as hot and cold, but at the end of the day, like if you were to walk away from this person, oh my gosh, would that unleash so much temper, anger and resentment towards you to the point where they would be like, I can't believe you left me. Like <laughs> if that's the kind of energy coming through where they would... They would feel really upset and so sad that they would go to big lengths to try and get you back. So even if this person is kind of hot and cold towards you, like just want to say, well, they would go to lengths to get you back because to me, they definitely don't want to let you go. And it also shows Seven of Wands, like no matter what they're struggling with and what they're challenged with, they still want to make things work with you and they still want to progress things with you because this person has such strong feelings for you. Yes, that is correct seriously strong feelings towards you I mean if that's not strong don't know what it is you know that's huge ace of swords here they definitely feel like you're very truthful you're very loyal you're very honest they like honesty they like truthfulness and they like someone who they can trust which again they trust you right look at what is happening in this card yes it is um you know you're being tied up here, but they want to be tied up. That's the thing. When we look at, you know, their feelings, their thoughts, and also what they want for the future, they want to be tied up. They want to have commitment. They want to have stability, and they do trust you to do whatever you're doing in this particular card, okay? And I know you know what's going on, and I know what is going on, you know, um, tying you up, having fun, but it's about, you know, that element of actually, you know, especially for this reading, being tied up and actually them wanting to be tied up. So tied up in regards to commitment and wanting, you know, stability and security and actually trusting you in the process of it. Like they really do trust you. And that's why they're also thinking about bigger responsibilities here as well. You know, if they get, if you, if 
the two of you get tied up in all of this, what does it mean for other commitments and other things? You know, what does it mean? Looking at the bigger picture, this person is not just looking at, okay, yeah, it will be great for tomorrow. No, they're looking at the bigger picture, the long-term goals, the long-term plans. That's so important to them. So I definitely feel like, of course, that just has so much meaning and I think it's really important and I think it's really great actually in so many ways that they they do think about things in this way like they're not just you know thinking about tomorrow or the month after that or just you know a year they're thinking about forever which again is a big thing to think about and so at times they may feel you know like whoa that's a lot to think about you know and but the reason why this person at times could be a little bit hot and cold is because they're not just thinking about you know today and tomorrow they're thinking about forever and forever is a heck of a long time. A heck of a long time. Yeah, it is indeed. But at least they're thinking in this way, right? So let's get these other three cards out. One more. Okay, we've actually got four, so we've got a bonus card. I'm just gonna move this crystal for a second and place these cards down whilst showing you. So we've got here the Eight of Swords, okay. Eight of Swords here shows possessiveness, all right? So this person is quite possessive. They don't, they definitely don't wanna let you go. And that's definitely something that is coming through. Like if you were to walk away from this person, they would really genuinely run back to you and try and do everything they can to get you back on board again. We've also got here the Knave of Swords, so again there's some very deep interest in regards to you, like a lot of interest. Okay, and we've got here the Ten of Swords as well, like can we just look at this particular card? Um, you see that there's one person here that's crying and then there's two people right here being quite intimate with one another. This Ten of Swords here shows, again, if you were to walk away from this person, they would be so upset. They would be so sad. They would feel a lot of frustration, a lot of anger, a lot of sadness, at times also resentment, and then they will get back on their feet and come towards you and try and pursue the living daylights out of you. Like, they will try everything they can to pursue you because they just don't want that fire to burn out. They don't want to lose you. So I just want to, you know, put that also into perspective. Like they just absolutely do not want to lose you. This person holds you in very high regards. But yes, this person at times can come across as a bit hot and cold. Um, but that's again because they're thinking about the long term. They're not just thinking about today and tomorrow. And, you know, the long term takes a lot of energy to think about. You know, it can be super scary. It can be like very intense to think about. But Again, that's something that's definitely coming through here. And then you've also got the Eight of Chalices. So this Eight of Chalices definitely showcases a very, very strong energy in regards to, you know, this card represents a lot of self-discovery and a lot of thinking and a lot of pondering and again, a lot to do with the future. This is about, you know, discovering those elements. So again, if they're hot and cold and you find like briefly for a period of time, you don't hear about them you don't hear from them for a little while, try not to get frustrated or worried too much. This is just taking the, them taking a bit of time to actually think about the future, you know, and trying to discover what it actually looks like in the bigger picture because the Eight of Chalices and Tarot shows rediscovery and, you know, discovering new elements and self-discovery. And I think that, that is at times very, very important when we think about the bigger picture of things. So that is definitely something that is coming through super, super strong on these cards so of course very very important as well for sure so that is what we've got right there wow <laughs> well, we definitely got a lot out in regards to their feelings their true feelings and also what they're thinking um but yeah this is your reading group number two so if this reading resonated with you and you found that there was you know things in it that ring true to your situation then definitely let me know in the comment section you know below and don't forget to, you know, like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, do subscribe, you know, and uh, what was the last thing I was going to mention? Oh yeah, my, you know, do check out the description box below for information on private paid readings, free reading giveaway, bracelets, which on Etsy, crystals, you know, all that good stuff. Um, there's just so many different things on my Etsy store. But uh, everything is always linked down below for your convenience, you know, Patreon, if you want to write to me, 
you know, all that good stuff, <laughs> as always. And definitely do take care of yourself, stay safe. And now I'm gonna move on to group number three's reading. Wow, four, 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 four. Wow, I started this reading at two, 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 and I ended it on four, 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 four. Incredible. All right, so let's now go to group number three. Okay, I'm just gonna put this crystal on the side. All right, so group number three, this is your reading for their true feelings for you and also what they're thinking. So we're gonna have a look and see what is coming through in this beautiful, beautiful setting. All right, so let's have a look. I'm just gonna take these faux grapes and just put them to the side um, because I wanna make sure we can get the entire spread on the table as well. And uh, we don't really have too much space for the grapes, but let's get started. So. Let us begin. Okay, what are their true feelings for you? What the Hierophant? And you know, Hierophant is ruled by Taurus. Taurus is ruled by Venus. We've got like this chain reaction coming through. And I just feel this very strong energy towards love. Like I will tell you straight away, I feel this person loves you. This person loves you deep down. And you know, the thing is, whether someone is feeling really good towards us or whether they are acting so chaotic towards us, Love is love, and I really feel that they love you. Um, you know, there's different types of love. There's, you know, solid, like, commitment type of love. There's also toxic love, you know, but love is love. Like, I, I know that, you know, you know what I mean? Like, there's so many different types of love. They're like, just like there's so many different types of, you know, happiness, for example, and so many different types of things. So, we've got the Hierophant with... The five of wands that's literally what I was talking about I can't even like sometimes I I think wow you know what I was literally thinking came out on the cards the five of wands here is about conflict and chaos and I do feel that this person can sometimes feel very chaotic towards you and can feel very all over the place I do apologize <coughs> in advance this is what happens when I do a bit of a longer reading sometimes I just need a sip of water in between so I'm just going to take a sip More like you know a few gulps <laughs> but this really showcases the fact that this person has love towards you even though at times they can act really chaotic towards you they can feel conflicted they can feel like you know at times they don't know what to do what to say how to do certain things you know there's lots of different types of love and I know that you know a lot of people might think like how can somebody love me if they act really chaotic and very all over the place well you know there are lots of different types of love and you know this is one of them just like you know you can have love towards a friend you can have a love towards um family you can have love towards you know someone romantically or you can have love towards just people in general you know this here shows love towards you in this circumstance and this situation as well five of wands you know it's not the best of energies because it is very conflicted but it shows you that through conflict and chaos and at times struggles that this person you know faces and deals with that this person still does have a lot of love towards you and ultimately what I also see is that this person here wants to change how they feel towards you they want to feel better they want to feel less conflicted and they want to feel happier they want to feel emotionally so much better you know about everything that they do everything that they say and how they also come across as well and this is a work in progress right so the hierophant here shows that they really do think that you're an amazing person like you're so kind you're so giving you're so loyal you're so nice you know and they feel like they need to match that like they need to be on that same level they need to be on that same atmosphere and they feel like they're not and that makes them feel like they aren't 
good enough at times. But one thing for sure is that, you know, their chaos and their confusion will change because fives and tarot are about change. And they also know that they don't want to let you go. You know, they, they feel like at times they, they love you and they feel so much towards you and then they think, why am I feeling so chaotic, you know? And this is all to do with their personal emotions and how they feel within themselves from things that they've dealt with in the past. So their past really does get to them. And at times they feel like, oh, why do I let this get to me, you know? And the thing is, this person needs healing and through healing, they will find a lot of happiness. And I do feel that they will then also be so much more accepting towards you know, how they also feel towards you, but also how they feel towards themselves. Because a lot of this chaos comes from them and themselves and not you. This person knows that they love you and they know for a fact that a lot of this chaos comes from themselves and also their chaos that comes from themselves reflects how they also see you at times and why they act the way that they do in regards to that. So it's, it's a cycle, you know, it all, it just blends together. And that's why we've got the hierophant that came out with the five of wands is because, you know, it's that two-sided energy. So let's see what else we can pick up here as well. So their true feelings are is that this person loves you, all right? But they also feel very chaotic in their own emotions, which can at times make them feel and be very hot and cold towards you as well in their actions and in actions as well. Because for some of you, you may not have communication or any kind of flow in that direction with them. So let's see what else we've got. The lovers, all right, I see you, group number three. Oh, we've got a card that just fell on the floor, nine of cups is on the table. Let's see what fell on the floor, I still can't see what it is, even though it's um, this way up. Okay, it is the page of cups. All right, so, oh, the lovers with another card. Ooh, they're like so sneaky, they're like, <laughs> okay, so lovers with the Queen of Cups. So interesting, you know sixes and tarot are all about balance, so the fact that you have the um, lovers, right, which is the sixth major arcana, well, technically, you know, the four is zero, so you know, but it's number six, it's number six, so that's what really, you know, matters in regards to number. Number six represents balance in tarot. And also you've got the Hierophant, which is number five. And this shows growth and progress, you know, five to the six, especially since you've got the Hierophant ruled by Venus. And then you've got the Lovers here, which is such a very, very strong energy about, you know, this being a spiritual connection. They feel like there's just something about this connection that they just keep feeling so attracted to you, it's like they can't let go of you, like they can't stop thinking about you, and they just can't, you know, move away from you. Anytime they think about, you know, moving away from you, just to gain a little bit of peace and harmony within themselves, they're just like, but I can't do that, you know? They just can't move away from you. They feel like they have to constantly, you know, still progress towards you, and they, they just can't let go of you. That's, that's the biggest thing that I'm seeing here. Queen of Cups, they have some very deep-rooted emotions towards you. Again, they feel that you are so giving, you're so loyal, you're so kind, you know, that you do a lot. Um, and again, that you're just so nurturing in so many ways that this person just cannot stop thinking about you. And I think that that is a, you know, a really strong sign of love. Um, regardless of how they feel within themselves, this person does have a lot of love and they are hoping that things can progress and get much, much better between the two of you because you've got here the Page of Cups. And the Page of Cups here is a very, very strong energy about things manifesting, things growing, things blooming in this particular connection. So it's really interesting here that you've got the Queen of Cups and also the Page of Cups. They almost feel like you have much more of a mature energy with your male or female, and they feel like they're not quite up to that standard yet, which is why they also at times feel really conflicted. They feel like they aren't able to give you maybe 100% of what you truly desire in this moment. And so again, that hot and cold can really stem off of that. But one thing for sure is that they really are wishing they can be with you and that they can progress things with you and take things further forward with you, and that you will be accepting to that. 
You know, they're also thinking about the right time to really come forward and express all of their needs, their wants, their wishes and desires towards you because that's exactly what the Nine of Cups is also about. They want to take things further forward with you. They want to express things to you. They want to be so much more truthful towards you and they just want you to also like know that they are there but they also need just a little bit of time, you know. I've got another page here. So yeah, you know, they're, they're trying to really understand the full effect of all of this. They may have been running away from this for a while or even in the past, you know, um, but it really shows that they're coming to grips with it. Like they're coming to terms with it, should I say. Like they're slowly but surely ending up on the same page, no pun intended, but the same wavelength as well. And they're just trying to... They're just thinking like, wow, you know, I've never witnessed anything like this. Like, this is truly, really special. Like, why am I running away from something that is so amazing and so, you know, someone that is so giving and so kind and so loyal? Like, why am I running away from this? This is amazing. This is a blessing. And it almost seems to me like now they have truly realized the extent of the blessing that you are in their life. Like, they really haven't come across someone like you and you're very rare. And for sure, that is definitely something that I'm picking up here in this particular reading. I mean, when you've got the Lovers and the Hierophant and the Queen of Cups, like, let's just talk about how incredibly amazing that is because this is their feelings towards you, right? And also what they're thinking as well. And a lot of what they're thinking also reflects of how they're feeling. But it also shows that they think of you as someone that is just so incredibly rare and giving. I mean, the Queen of Cups in this day and age, it's rare. It's very rare, you know. People are very, very self-centered these days. Not everybody, but a lot of people are. And, you know, there's just this very me, 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 I, I, I kind of energy that stems through. And they know that. But when they think of you, they think of someone that is just so giving. And they don't want to lose that, you know, just through their insecurities at this very point in time. They don't want to lose that because of how they can feel at times not ready. Like, they just don't want to lose you. And that's definitely one of their biggest fears that I do pick up. So they're trying to do as much as they can to understand this particular connection so that they don't lose it. Because them losing it is just going to trigger so much more um, stress and anxiety and sadness, um, for sure. Okay, because this person does love you. Yes, does love you, does love you. Judgment, see? They're going to make some big decisions in regards to you because they know that they don't want to lose you. Judgment is ruled by Pluto, and Pluto is all about transformations. Yes, we like it. It's a strong energy, transformative, progressive, important in so many ways, you know? So this Pluto energy is very, very important because it shows that they're going to make a big decision in regards to you and how they also want to take things further forward with you as well. So you can expect them to say something or ask you something that would essentially require you to give a response back. And then you've got here the three of wands, okay? So they're trying to figure out the right time to really say all of this to you. So in time, they're going to give you this question, they're going to propose a question, they could quite literally propose to you, that's also something we're seeing since I said that word, it could make a lot of sense to some of you, especially when you've got the Hierophant and the Lovers, which also shows commitment. Three of Wands, in time, they're going to express their true thoughts and feelings towards you, and you're going to know where you stand, because you're going to also be the one, you know, to accept or reject, or to say what you feel and how you feel, back to their you know, how they, they like, they're going to tell you, but then also you're going to tell them in return, but they're also going to ask you a question like, hey, you know, do you want to be together? Or hey, you know, will you marry me? I don't feel they're going to say like, well, hey, you know, but they might say like, will you marry me? You know, and maybe give a speech. Um, yeah, something along the lines of that. For those of you not in contact as well, there can be contact. They're just trying to find out when the right time is to do so as well because they don't want to, as well, overwhelm you, like, that's, they're thinking about you, I know that sounds, at times, strange, but they are thinking about you, okay, so got all of the cards here, I've got another page, wow, okay, many pages, so we've got the page of swords here, see, this is communication, this is about direct communication, and them actually wanting to tell you how they feel, how they see things, not surprised, magician, ta-da, magician is 
ruled by Mercury, and Mercury is the planet of communication, so again, they're going to communicate all of these thoughts and feelings to you, they're going to ask you questions, you're going to have to reply, well, you know, the thing is, you don't have to reply, but I mean, I feel like you will reply, the thing is, what you will say is going to make the impact, so whether you accept or reject to their question and their communication is what makes the difference. So magician, there's lots of things here opening up and you've also got here the eight of pentacles. See, they're gonna be working very, very hard to give you this information. They're gonna work hard to really get into your energy and to try and prove things to you, to take things further forward. And that is what I'm seeing. Like they're gonna work really, really hard to try and make things progress. That's what I'm seeing. So group number three, this is your reading. Okay, and if this resonates with your situation or if you have any questions, you know, or if this really just makes sense and, you know, you're like, wow, that, that really does make sense to my situation, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Do check out the description box below for information on private paid readings, free reading giveaway and my bracelets with Trinetsi. And I hope you have a lovely day or night wherever you are, whenever you're watching this and do also take care as well. Bye.